Connecting, connecting. Do 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 do. Am I live? I was actually just singing a really weird song a second ago and uh, while I was setting it up, I'm like, oh gosh, I hope I accidentally am I'm not live right now. Hi! Everybody's here! Wow! Okay, yeah! This is actually a lot of people chatting all of a sudden. That's awesome. Usually it takes a while for the chat to get going. How's everybody doing? <laughs> well, if it isn't Nikki. Yes, it is me. Um, I thought I'd just hop on for a little bit of a live chat. I went for a run today. Well, I've been running again for the past few days because um, I've really only been doing indoor workouts, like workout videos at home because it's been winter and so cold in Minnesota. And now it's like 30 degrees outside and I'm like, woo, it's practically summer, <laughs> 30 degrees, but it hasn't been bad. So I ran uh, five miles today and today is like the third day in a row that I did that and my muscles are like, Ah! <laughs> They're starting to stiffen up a little bit. But actually, John's been running too, which I'm so proud of John. Um, he, uh, yeah, he decided like, hey, I want to get in really good shape. And John's been going for runs every day for a while now. Uh, John's upstairs. So YouTube stuffing you guys. Looks like all my fave channels are getting screwed. Um... Yeah, well, we've been having some problems with our YouTube channel recently. I mean, it's it hasn't gotten to the point where it's, like, terrible for us. But um, I kind of mentioned it a couple vlogs back, and people are like, wait, so what's been going on? They asked me to tell the whole story. But, um, yeah, basically, like our new videos aren't getting promoted and it started a couple weeks ago something like really weird happened all of a sudden we'd upload a video and it would only get like 4,000 views overnight which is really weird for this channel I mean this channel doesn't get like hundreds of thousands of views overnight all the time but like 4,000 that's really really low for this channel um, and uh, it looked like it would get stuck at about 4,000 views for about uh, a week and a half. And then finally they'd start getting views again. So I've been talking to like other YouTubers about it too. And they've given me some of their insight. They've looked at our vlog channel. And when they were clicking on the new videos, it was like, yeah, your videos aren't ranking at all. So like your new stuff, it isn't popping up. And what they were telling me is that it seems like uh, YouTube, uh, so YouTube's been cracking down on channels with kids lately. And so they were saying it looks like the algorithm is looking at our channel and seeing that John and I do pranks on each other and thinking that we might be one of those channels that does pranks and are mean to our kids, which we're not. So obviously, but it, they were saying that the algorithm is um, like questioning our channel. And uh, so they might be making it so we don't get as many views right away and uh, like in case our videos get flagged or something. So <sighs> yeah, it stinks. It looks like it's getting a little bit better though. I mean, not back to the point that it was, which it sucks because, um, you know, YouTube's rolling out all these changes and John and I are like, oh, okay, like, you know, we should, we should be okay because we don't do anything like that bad. We haven't even sworn in our video in like five years, in our videos in like five years. So, um, it just, it stinks when, you know, like, I, the good people get caught in the crossfire. Because I do, there are some like really messed up kids channels out there and I think that YouTube should be taking those down and getting rid of that and making YouTube a safer place for, um, for kids and for everybody. But, yeah. Hopefully it's one of these things that we just have to to wait out and hopefully it gets better, but that's kind of what's going on. <sighs> yeah, thank you, Debbie. <laughs> thank you. So, I mean, I think John and I are really good parents and uh, 
I think we're just getting caught in the crossfire. So YouTube is seeing, like, we do pranks and challenges and think that maybe it's the kid that does it because we're, you know, we're parents. We're pranksters that happen to have a child. Hello from Minnesota. But um, anyway, uh, I just wanted to, to let you guys know that there's easy ways that you can help your favorite YouTubers, not just me, if this is happening to them. And a really simple way to do it is to give every video that you see a like because that helps boost it in the algorithm. You know, it's free, it takes one second. If you like a YouTuber, just hit the thumbs up on their YouTube, on their new video so that, you know, the algorithm can pick it up a little more and see that a lot of people are liking it. So Iris is actually taking a nap right now. Uh, since daylight savings time changed, she stopped taking a nap, and uh, today she was acting kind of tired and cranky, so she's napping now. <laughs> there will actually be a prank on Pranksters in Love tomorrow. I have another prank scheduled on Pranksters in Love, so yeah. Should be a good one. And we posted one uh, last week on that channel. You've been a YouTuber for eight years. Awesome. Does Iris love winter? I, I think so. She She's scared of sledding and stuff like that, so we haven't gone sledding yet. I was excited to take her sledding, but she never wants to go down the hill. But she likes to, um, you know, go outside and play on the snow. And there's like a little pond that one of the neighbors has cleared off um, and made a little ice skating rink, and we go on there sometimes, which is fun. I'm not going to tell you what the prank is about because I need it to be, I want it to be a surprise for y'all. <laughs> You're up to your butts in snow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I agree. Myra, Mara, Mara? Is that how you pronounce it? I think Iris is hilarious too. She's constantly cracking me up. What is it? She's been having a lot of really funny quotes lately. So uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you might have already seen this, but the other day she just looks at me and she goes, Mom, I love you so much. Even if you were a bunny, I'd never put you in a cage. And I'm like, oh, Iris, you give the best compliments. And she just goes, yeah, I do. <laughs> Hi, Daddy Daughter Broadcasting. Thanks for stopping in. YouTube back in 2006 was smashing up stuff and toilet jokes. <laughs> Happy almost birthday, Anna in Vermont. Hello from Germany. Hello, willkommen. <laughs> I need to do a, a German snacks video, like having John and Iris try German snacks. Well, Iris really likes Kinder Überraschung, so um, I know she'd really like getting that in one of the videos, but I think we need to get one. It can be expensive to get some of those snacks from other countries. It's crazy. Well, thank you, Jade. I, I recognize your screen name, or your name. Do people still say screen name anymore? No, nobody says that. I'm like, I'm reverting back to AOL instant messenger days. Woo, Kendrick. Awesome, you've been watching for seven years. That's so cool. Yeah, that's one of the great things about YouTube is like, people can just kind of grow up with you. It's crazy. Yeah, we've been on YouTube for, I think like, end of end of 2009 we started so almost 10 years tell more stories George I was planning on telling a story tonight I was gonna talk about my experience with rabies do like the full story I, I'm gonna record it not post it though Elizabeth B., is Iris going to do pranks? 
I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't mind if she pranked me when, um, when she's older. I would think that it's kind of funny. She is a little bit of a prankster already. Like, she likes to jump out and scare, uh, like, both John and I. And she's found the clown mask that John pranked me with before, and she's been chasing us uh, around with that. Like, she loves to put that on and go like, rah! scare me all the time. And it looks so strange, too, because of, like, her proportions. So she has this, like, big head clown mask on. She comes walking in. She looks like uh, the leprechaun <laughs> from the leprechaun movies. But I don't really agree with pranking your kids, especially when they're, like, as young as Iris is. So John and I, like, aren't those parents because, you know, like, she wouldn't understand. I have seen some, like, really messed up pranks that, that people play on their kids on YouTube, though. I'm just like, mm, I don't I don't see how you can do that to your kid. Yeah. <laughs> Will you ever quit YouTube one day? Um, I don't know. I mean, hopefully we can keep it going as long as possible, like... John and I aren't that old yet. We were, you know, I was 20 when we first started posting YouTube videos, so I would think we can we can stay on YouTube at least another 10, 15 years. <laughs> Are the crocodiles in the lake behind your house real? Uh, no, I was joking. <laughs> Thumbs up, woo! Will Iris be homeschooled? I don't think so. No. She, um, you know, I think she'd really benefit from the social aspect. So, um, yeah. We've actually been, like, interviewing at preschools and stuff, so she might start school pretty soon. Or evaluated. I don't know what the right term is, because they just, they see, like, what level Iris is at. I was going to do a story time about that, but I guess I could just talk about it now since I'm doing a live show. So, um, we took Iris to the screening. So they have, uh, like a child development expert come in and, uh, they test, like, hearing and eyes and then they do, um, like, an, evalu an evaluation to see where the kid is and then they try to pinpoint if they need any special needs classes and that sort of thing so they can get them in early if they do and um, yeah so Iris got tested and it looks like she is ready for preschool so John and I might enroll her very very soon and um, Iris tested double where she should be right now so I think that's awesome and I wonder if that like, has to do with both John and I being able to stay home with her and give her that one-on-one -on -one attention. Like, I don't, it's just an interesting thought to me, because obviously kids benefit from one-on-one -on -one attention, but yeah, like, she's, she's doing well. She has slight attention issues, but, um, they weren't worried about that, and I kind of, I kind of knew that. Iris is kind of all over the place. <laughs> Are we going to do anything for St. Patrick's Day, Ian asks, and I don't, I, I, I don't know, we haven't talked about it too much, but I went to go visit my dad yesterday, and my dad asked me if we'd make corned beef and cabbage like six times. Uh-oh, did I freeze? No, I'm, I'm back going again. So I think my dad really wants us to cook corned beef and cabbage at our house, and uh, he wants us to have a little dinner, so hopefully we'll do that. We were going to go up to John's cabin at some point, too, because we haven't, we haven't really done that. We haven't been there since Christmas, and when we moved back to Minnesota, we were kind of thinking, oh, like, we can go up to the cabin all the time, and it'll be fun, which I think we should. Um, are, aren't you and John married? We're, um, we're technically engaged, but, um... I'll put, like, husband versus wife and stuff in in the titles of videos, too, because that's, like, the closest to what we are, I'd say. Like, that's relatable um, and, and searchable. Because, I mean, John and I are more than boyfriend and girlfriend. We're married in our hearts. <laughs> 
Reactions to old vlogs and pranks. I think that would be a fun video. We should do that. Might be a little tough to edit. You're gl I'm glad that you and John can pull pranks on each other and still have a strong bond in your relationship. Thank you. I think John and I do, you know, we are very close and we're both like, we're just loyal people. Like that's instilled in us and we have a lot of fun together. Sometimes having a business and like being around each other all the time, like that can lead to fights and stuff, but we always come around and get happy and then we just have to like focus on different ways to communicate with each other and make compromises and that sort of thing. You love my dog Lola. Thank you. I love her too. She's all curled up in a blanket right now being comfy. Lola's always uh, looking for the most comfortable place. <laughs> Plans for more kids. My wife and I get this question all the time. Um, I don't feel like like right now would be a great time. I would like to recover more after the move and, um, you know, because life was so hectic for a little while and just get like a little more stable, but we do have enough bedrooms now to fill up if we wanted to have more kids. And I don't know, that is a question that I struggle with and I think about quite a lot because, you know, now Iris is three and, you, you know, like it goes by quick. It does. I have a little dog named Lola, and you have a cat named Thor. Ah. Rub your smelly feet in John's face sometime. My feet don't smell. Good job on Ultimate Expedition, says Dona. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, I really appreciate that. It was a crazy hard show. Like, I mean... Nothing that I would have imagined. Uh, high elevation does crazy things to your body. And I think, like, a lot of people don't understand that. Like, I've been reading some of the comments on the shows and stuff. Like, I think people compare it to a regular hike, like in Arizona or where they're from or in Pennsylvania or something. And they go like, well, I go hiking all the time and I can do it. And I'm like, no, it's like a whole nother level. It's crazy. You get altitude sickness because you're, you're adapting to a new atmosphere, to a new environment. There's half the oxygen that we're used to. And so your body's freaking out and it's getting exhausted through all this stuff. You're queasy. You have headaches. Like it was insane. Have you ever been to Stillwater? Yeah, I have. Definitely. I've been there lots of times. I can't tell you my, um, my plan for my next prank on John because I don't want to give it away. I think I did that in a live chat once and, like, a bunch of people went and told him, like, you guys are snitches. <laughs> like, a bunch of people started tweeting him and stuff. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go prank John. Or I was gonna do it right now, and people were, like, tweeting John, like, look out, Nikki's coming upstairs to prank you. Come on, whose side are you on? Jeez. <laughs> Any plans to collaborate with Yuka and the gang again? I mean, I'm always down, yeah, like, they're cool people, uh, but we live in another state now, so um, that makes it a little more difficult. So, yeah, if I go to LA, I'll, I'll hit them up and see if they want to do a challenge or something. What about the snakes? What about the snakes? Oh! <laughs> It's like, what the heck are you talking about? Um, I got it. I used a, a thumbnail from the snakes. I don't know. Sometimes, like, I, it doesn't let me take a, a live photo. Um, when you live stream from your phone, you can just take a photo fr from your phone and do that. So I always just pull, like, a random photo of myself. How's the house? Are you guys loving it or what? I do. 
I really like this place. It's so cozy and I love our view looking out the windows. We have lots of great trails to go running. Like I said earlier in this live stream, John and I have been um, running a lot and uh, yeah, like we run through the woods. It's beautiful. What you drinking? Share what you drinking. Coffee. I'm addicted to coffee. I'm like Lorelai Gilmore. I drink so many cups of coffee a day. <laughs> Hello from Sweden. I'm I'm part Swedish, actually. Oh yeah, I did my DNA test on this channel, but I found like a bunch of my ancestors' documents, and I'm part Swedish too. I have not seen Black Panther yet, but it looks good. I saw, um, I, like, I, I, I didn't really know much about it, and I know, like, everybody's been talking about it, but I had no idea, like, it was what it was. I didn't know it was, like, a, a superhero movie. You and Iris need to do a mother-daughter baking video. video. Vidya, what is that? Oh my gosh, I sounded like I'm from the Old West or something. We need to make a video. <laughs> Does John ever fish in Alexandria? He probably has at some point in his life, but um, I don't know of him going there recently. I've been to Alexandria before. Are you from Alexandria? Is that why you said that? I went to Bible camp in Alexandria, true story, um, with my mom and my sister, uh, and we would go to Bugaboo Cafe. You been to Bugaboo? I love Starbucks, says Jade Aldridge. Starbucks is good. Oh, we had a viewer who worked at the Starbucks by our old house, and he was so cute. Like, um, when we were living in California, we'd go into the Starbucks and I'd be like, uh, one small ice caramel macchiato. And he'd like come walking out from the back. He's like, oh, Nikki and John, like, I love your videos. You guys are great. And it was just, he was like the sweetest guy. He's like, I got this. And so he'd like swipe his card and he'd give us, um, you know, I'd order like a, a small ice caramel macchiato and he'd like bring out three large ice caramel macchiatos and like six banana breads. He's like, here you go on the house. And I'm like, that is the cutest thing. <laughs> Two dislikes. Why? Who disliked me? Who did it? I can't even see my likes versus dislikes. Or can I? I'm trying to scroll down and... Look, no, I can't see it. Shame on you. <laughs> There's a wedgie challenge? Oh, wow, I didn't know there was a wedgie challenge. Greetings from Germany. What's up? Hi, Max. Ah! What happened? Can you guys see me? Why can't I see myself? It's all black. What the heck? Can you guys see me? That is the weirdest thing. I don't know what happened, y'all. Can you hear my voice? Hello. I'm trying to turn it off and restart it. Help me! I don't know what, what happened. I have my camera going. That's so weird. You guys, YouTube must have found out that I was talking about problems with my YouTube channel and they, they cut me off. They're like, they went in and they cut my live stream off so that you can only see black. The conspiracy runs deep! All right, I'm going to try to restart it. No, because it's a webcam from the computer, so it uh it shouldn't 
You know, it should it, the it, the battery can't die. No, it looks like it's doing something. No, it's just a black screen. I know. Why? I don't know. John's here. Computers and I can't find its own thing. That's so weird. I mean, might have to just start over. Oh, hi. Everybody can hear us still. Yeah, I know. Oh. So don't say anything dirty. Nice butt cheeks. <gasps> uh, well, you probably should. I mean, you want to say goodbye? It's the vlog channel. I don't know. I have no idea what just happened. Oh, uh, yes. For some reason, the computer. You might have to try restarting the computer. Okay, guys. I think that... Well, since the, the screen went off, I can try to restart the computer, but that's all I can do, really. Yes, now, now this is a, a podcast. Actually, people still film themselves for podcasts, huh? Yeah, it's just just radio. Welcome to WKOTZ with Nikki the... I don't know what to say. Okay, I am going to try to restart.